Greetings, 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 my V family all over the world. This is your chief. Um, welcome to week 19, I believe. Week 19 on my Insta live, guys. Uh, I just arrived at the beautiful city of Bangkok. All right, to spend some quality time with some very important people and especially my brother, J.R. Maya. All right, so guys, I just, just walked into my room, okay? So unbelievable. Master plan has no flaws. Let me do some shout outs. Uh, Sauka Ninas, Rahul Mahato, Suraj Takur Smriti, Savio Reben, uh, Ganaim, all right, Vignesh, uh, Carol, Yogesh, Amrita, uh, Vinu. Is that you, Vinu? Vinu official underscore 18. Sandeep Chari Sukumaran, The V Official, Loreen in the house, Pony, what's up? Rita in the house, Siamak always there. How are you, bro? All right, uh, Devraj is coming soon to Tanzania. Balaji is there. All right, uh, Tipa, how are you? It's uh, and Vicky Ras. Vix, I just started seeing your Insta, too cool. All right, Kalai, how are you, ma? All right, uh, Brijesh, I know you are there with. All your warriors. So this is a shout out to all of Brigitte's warriors. All right. Izan Omar. How are you, Izan? Lama tak jumpa. Okay. Dipankar. Shruti. Bharati. Wanakam. How are you, Jose? Uh, Hanan. Mukesh. Lilia. From France. Bonjour. 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 Ali Reza. Reza Ali. What's up, Ali? I'm in town. I'll see you tomorrow or Tuesday. Uxman. Jawaid. Mega. Sanu Nair. How are you, Sanu? Majid. Okay, Vivek Sharma, Kanu, uh, Kshama Ragaf, all right, uh, Khan, Said Dali Abbas from Pakistan, Chimoy. Uh, so, Pony, if you are there, Shipra is there. Hi, Shipra, good to see you in Dubai. Sofina, Prakash, Agrawal, uh, Farida, all right, Hemant, Abdullah, Binoy Patel, the one and only VP Sati in the house. All right, uh, how are you doing, Sat? Vikash Kumar, Ak Ashash, Max out, Sadiki Maxwell, Ranjan Kumar, Shezat, Rania, how are you? Uh, and uh, Siva Raman, I see all of David Sharma, how are you, David? The one and only David Sharma also here. All right, greetings, greetings, greetings to everyone. Neza, uh, Diraj Koti. Um, yeah, we just had a great uh, event. Um, uh, so firstly, guys, Assalamu alaikum to all my Muslim brothers and sisters. Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour to all my French-speaking warriors. Privet to all my Russian-speaking brothers and sisters. All right, hola, vigets, okay, uh, marhaba, salam, okay, to everyone. Wanakam, namaste, um, namaskaram, sastrikal, Okay, guys, I Bowan, good day, mate, to all the Australians. Uh, Apa Kabar, Malaysia, Indonesia, Ni Hao Ma, Hong Kong, and China. All right, Sin Chao to Vietnam. I saw so many of you in UAE, unbelievable, at the event in uh, Sharjah. All right, Mekalawa to Myanmar. Uh, I, I have to sh do a shout out to Bhutan. All right, a lot of you have been sending me uh, DMs. Uh, a big shout out to everyone in QN Europe, GLL Lanka, uh, Vihan India. Um, uh, where else? Where else? Where else? Am I missing anything out? All right. Uh, QN Turkey, Q, QNet Promeson. Shout out to everyone. Uh, it's been unbelievable. Uh, last night, I had the privilege and honor to witness Dato Sri Vijay doing his magic and speaking to about 50 of his top corporate managers in an event called QI Rising, okay, and uh, listening to him. I, mean, I was just sitting there, listening. It's very rare, as much as I spend time with Dato Sri, it's always uh, lessons he's teaching me, hammering me, all right, quelling my ego, uh, talking about uh, the future of QNet, the bright future of QNet for the next 25 years. But yesterday, it was so unbelievable to sit there as a student and watch your your teacher your master your mentor uh be at his best all right and after this event and i said goodbye to him and i went home 
like three in the morning. All right. So a big shout out to uh, everyone who was there. Sati, David, Ramya, uh, Giri, uh, Devraj, Trevor, who all the facilitators, the in-service who did a great job. And this week, I want to talk about uh, something that I am very passionate about. Okay, which I believe a lot of people fail to understand, which is fundamentally important in network marketing. All right. Now, all of you, you're building an organization. You're building an organization of people, just people, the common man and the common woman. All right. Who came from their normal lives. Uh, you, you open up their mind. You got them to dream again and you invited them into our family, Japa and Dato Sri's family, uh, the V family. All right. And they all started their journey with us. Now, a lot of people underestimate this concept of motivation, passion, inspiration. And I used to do this module 20 years ago where I talk about the atoms. You know, everything in life has atoms. So you take water. All right, you pour ice water into a bowl. That is the beginning of building your network. When you build your network, you're basically filling up a bowl with cold water. And that cold water is built of atoms. Now, if my science is not right, who cares? All right, okay. Trust me and listen carefully and go with the flow. Now, this equally applies, Vicky, and to all us, uh, everyone from the corporate world, okay. I don't know whether Trevor Fla is here or not, uh, all right, or Naresh or whoever, okay? It applies equally to the corporate world. It, apply, it, it applies equally to the networking world, okay? So when you start your journey, you have a bowl, and you were alone in that bowl, one droplet of cold water. And then you started inviting everyone into that bowl, okay? And it's loads and loads of water being poured into the bowl, and this water is cold, that means the atoms are not moving, all right? Okay, because energy, passion is represented by the vibration of an atom, which becomes contagious to all the other atoms, all right? And then water starts to boil and it turns into steam and it rises up to max out and financial freedom. The mistake a lot of people make in network marketing, all right, you put the, bowl, you put the water in the bowl and you wait and you wait and you wait. And then after a few weeks, a few months, you're confused why your downlines, why your employees are not excited. They're not passionate. They're not crazy. You, you understand? Because let's face the fact, everyone who has achieved a tremendous amount of success had a tremendous amount of energy, a tremendous amount of passion. All right. They are crazy. They, they, they speak louder, they walk faster, they have a certain vairagya, a passion about them that is so freaking contagious that when you meet these people, even on your worst day, they can turn you around just by being close to them. Proximity, like when I have a bad day, which I rarely have, but if I have a bad day, I will get into my car, drive to Dato Sri Vijay's house, sit on his kitchen table, all right, and he could be talking to Kuna, JR, you know, he could be talking to Datin Sri, it doesn't matter. All right, just being in his presence, there's a certain vibration, there's a certain power, there's a certain passion and energy that overwhelms me and dispels the negativity. That's why, all right, you like to hang around passionate people. That's why you like to hang around exciting people. That's why you like to hang around people who are full of energy. Right, like you go to a concert and you see the star on stage. I went, I went to an event in a British event in Bangkok, and he brought two of the most amazing singers. I was sitting there. Now I don't even understand the language, guys. All right, and I was feeling the energy, and I was going crazy. I went up on stage and danced because those guys were on fire. All right, and that's why you need to understand that you have a bowl now full of cold water. Right, and that water will remain cold, and cold water does not create BV, does not create bigger checks, does not create better managers, better downlines, does not create max out kings and queens. The first thing you need to know is you need to light a fire. That pot or that bowl you carry around must constantly be on a fire. 
It must constantly be right on top of a blazing fire to keep that water boiling and, and the atoms will start vibrating to a crazy level that creates steam. And the steam are the leaders who are rising to the top to reach max out blue diamond, diamond, whatever it is. All right? And you are that fire. All right? That you have to be the most passionate, the most switched on individual. You do not have the luxury of not being passionate. Now, somebody told me, Chief, how are you like this every day? I'm like this the whole freaking day. You have seen me, whether I'm in the office, whether it's VCon, whether it's my Wednesday message or my Insta live. All right. I am like this at home. You can ask my life partner, your soulmate. You can ask my kids. All right. I'm screaming and shouting and jumping around the house the whole day because I believe that when you create an environment of so much energy, so much passion, it becomes contagious. It transfers to the next atom. So how does water turn to steam? All right. Now let's go back to science. All right. When you light that fire, the first atom starts to feel the heat and it vibrates more and it starts hitting the next atom and the energy transfers to the next atom. It, it starts vibrating more, right? This is networking 101. Then it moves to the next atom and the next atom and all these atoms start to vibrate. That's why when your water boils, you see it moving. Why, why is it moving? Why is it bubbling? Why is it almost coming out of the pot? Because the atoms are vibrating at a ferocious level of passion and energy that the water cannot remain still. The water starts to boil and boil and you see bubbles coming out. And then, and then after a certain point, you see steam rising to the top. Now, those are the atoms that have vibrated to the highest level of energy that it has detached himself from the water and floated into this concept of steam that rises to the top of max out and financial freedom. Are you guys with me? Now, the problem with most organizations, even in the corporate world, there is no fire. It starts with one atom. That one atom can spread its energy all right, to everyone. I call this, sometimes I use the word catalyst. You know what a catalyst is? Right, so you pour, you know, when you go to chemistry class, um, I repeat, may not remember this because he didn't go to class, but let's say you go to chemistry class. The teacher will say, pour two liquids and nothing happens. Two cold liquids you pour, nothing happens. And suddenly he said, take this powder and put in. Powder is also white, the water is clear. You take the powder and you just drop it in that two liquid mixture and suddenly something happens. The liquid starts to almost boil and the color changes to purple and there's steam or smoke coming out. Do you understand? Now that powder is called the catalyst. Every freaking organization, every network, every department, every floor in QI Tower, every entity under this, this amazing family of QI that Dato Sri Vijay has built, all right, needs a catalyst. It needs that freaking crazy uh, full of energy, vibrating atom who does not know how to speak softly, who cannot walk slowly, who cannot keep their arms still, all right, who's just going crazy the whole time. Are you guys with me? All right, you need that person in your organization because without that person, your organization remains cold water, all right? And Dato Sri Vijay, you have seen him on VCon, that energy, that power. All right, which becomes contagious to the whole arena of 20,000 people. All right, are you with me? Now, who is that? Who is that catalyst of energy, passion, inspiration, craziness, absolute unconditional belief that the impossible is possible? Now, somebody said, you know, Chief, I don't have that personality. I am not you. Are you kidding me? I was not like this from the time I was born. I was a normal kid. But when I understood the message from Datu Sri, that Patman, you have to be the catalyst, right? Your passion and energy must be so contagious, right? He was telling the story how I did a presentation and he was doing the closing. He always says it at VCon, where the prospects came up and said, we don't understand a thing this guy said, but we are signing up. 
because whatever created that energy and passion, I want to be part of it. Now, this is undoubtedly a necessity in network marketing. Why? Because you're bringing people from a place of no energy, no passion, no belief, no craziness, all right? And you bring them into your bowl. So there's no use taking them from one bowl of cold water and putting them in another bowl of cold water and holding hands and singing Kumbaya. Nothing replaces passion, all right? You look at every movie, whether it's Braveheart, all right, Bajirao Mastani, okay, uh, any of these movies where... You know, the Braveheart, there's a scene that I love. Actually, I should share that scene one day at Recon, all right? Uh, the scene where they were facing a huge army on the other side. Braveheart is one of the greatest movies ever. Mel Gibson is the actor. He's the warrior. His name is Braveheart in the movie. And, and they were all villagers, you know, with sticks and swords, no armor. They were wearing, you know, pathetic clothes from villagers. They were farmers. So there were a few hundred farmers. And on the other side of the field, all right, there was thousands of professional soldiers of the king dressed up, most modern weapons, you understand. And these farmers freaked out. And they turned around, they wanted to leave, and Braveheart came. And he gave a speech, all right? He gave one of the most historical speeches of Hollywood movies. And he gave that speech that inspired these farmers. And suddenly... He was that atom that was vibrating. He was the catalyst that turned that cold water army into the craziest maniacs and they won the battle, outnumbered. All right, no hope based on tactical logic of war, but they won that battle purely because they were led by a crazy, passionate, energetic psychotic leader who was not afraid to die to prove the point that they could win this battle. Now, are you that person in your network? Are you that catalyst of creating energy, passion, craziness, belief in your network? This is the question you have to ask yourself. Now, you have come to VCon, all right? You have seen me on stage. You have seen everyone. What, who are these people who go on stage? You know, the Aruns, the Davids, the Satis, the Adlis, right? You know, Adlis, captain of the ship. If you've seen them on stage, their energy becomes contagious. The crowd can no longer sit on their seats, but that is what is required. If you ask me what is required to take your organization from zero to max out kings, it requires you to be the catalyst of craziness, of energy, of passion. You've got to be so passionate that it becomes contagious, right? That you cannot sleep. I struggle until today to sleep every single morning because I'm still so freaking excited after 25 years of what this year will be, our 25th anniversary, what next year will be. And I observe today that a lot of people are attempting and they will fail to project network marketing as this professional thing. Okay, yes, you are a professional networker, I believe, but you cannot build your network on this professional men mindset. You got to build your network on the mindset of a warrior. You got to build your network on the mindset of motivation, inspiration. All right? Can you imagine if I go up on stage at VCon one day and say, good evening, my name is Padman Senati Raja. I'm here to talk about the need for you to be a warrior because uh, you're a wimp and now you have to convert to a warrior and only warriors can succeed. Um, I've seen sometimes, you know, that warriors, you know, they're quite okay. They can actually, you cannot speak like that in front of 20,000 people. You cannot speak like that in front of one person. Are you guys with me? You got to speak that you were born a wimp, but it's time to change and become a warrior. Are you guys with me? And that vibration transfers to people. It becomes contagious. All right? There are so many social experiments that one guy or three people go to a Times Square or a town square 
and play some crazy music and they start dancing and they say, come on guys, let's do it. I tell you, if the right music is on and the energy of those three people are unbelievable, people will start to follow. Zulu, I'm coming to see you, bro. All right? People will start to follow. I promise you that. Energy is contagious. Passion is contagious. Craziness is contagious. Warriorship is contagious. Success is contagious. And like Datu Sri yesterday said, the ultimate rule has never changed. It is monkey see, monkey do. That rule has never changed. So if you are the leader of your organization, if you are the leader of your department, Vicky Ras, if you are a leader of a team, they all look at you. They copy you. They duplicate your energy. So what are you giving them? What energy are you transferring? And this cannot be fake it till you make it. Right? I hate people who just go on stage and suddenly become very passionate. But in life, they are not. Then it's ineffective. Then you are just a one-hit wonder on stage. You have to live a life of passion, excitement and craziness. That's the only way you can build an organization of max out kings and queens. And I realized today with the younger generation of people signing up, I just feel they're not crazy enough. I just feel they're not passionate enough. And the, and the fault lies with you. And somebody said, Chief, how do I remain passionate for 25 years? I have remained passionate for 25 years. Japa has remained passionate for 25 years. Dato Sri Vijay has remained passionate for 25 years. All right? Because we know that monkey see, monkey do. We know that our energy is the what is going to be transferred contagiously to the whole network. So we cannot slow down. We cannot taper down the energy. The energy graph must just keep rising and rising and rising and rising and rising non-stop. All right? And somebody told me, but chief, can I be a serious networker? You can be a serious networker, but you're going to struggle to max out because ultimately the passion must be felt. It must be seen. It must be heard. All right? The, the, the passion must be contagious. So right now, guys, the reason why you are struggling to hit your checks, the reason why sometimes you complain that your network is not growing the way it should for whatever reason, I tell you the answer. The answer is because your whole network is in the bowl, in the pot, right, with you. Japa, I said this before, right? He said, you, you know, you guys are making soup, the soup of max out, the soup of success. You put the water, you put all the ingredients, you put everything, salt, this, that, that but you don't light the fire, will there be soup? There won't be soup, all right? So the same way, now you have a bowl full of water, you put some ingredients, eight basic building blocks, training, this, that, everything, uh, your, your system, your, your events, I remember Jaffa's module so clearly, everything you have put in, okay, all right? And then you don't get your check, your check doesn't go up, you're not maxing out, you're struggling. The reason is you forgot to switch on the fire, la morons. Switch on the fire. Right? You cannot make the max out soup. You cannot create a multi-million dollar network. You cannot build a company for 25 years to be the greatest network marketing company in the world without the fire. Right? And that fire is no longer a choice. It is a necessity. So all of you have to freaking wake up that nothing replaces passion. Nothing replaces the high energy of an upline or a networker. Nothing replaces the craziness. Nothing replaces warriorship on your journey to max out. I am telling you, nothing replaces it. Because I've tried the serious approach. I've tried the quiet approach. Right? You know, <laughs> my family says, why is your voice so loud? Even at VCon, the minute I grab the mic, immediately it becomes louder because that is how I was trained by my uplines. Are you guys with me? That you have no choice to raise the bar higher from every aspect of your journey as an upline. Are you guys with me? So this week, week uh, 19, all right, get off from your sofa, 
Get off from your intellectual professional chair and be a crazy entrepreneur. Be a fanatic. Be a maniac. Light the fire in your network. Speak differently. Do your system differently. Record crazier videos. All right? Do whatever it takes, but light the fire under that pot that is holding your network. Because all the ingredients are there. You've got great uplines. You've got the V. You've got the great lessons of our founders, Japa and Datu Sri. All of this in the pot. Everything is ready. And you are there sitting there in the cold water and singing bloody kumbaya and hoping your checks will grow up. Will go up. So please, wake up. Smell the coffee. This is your chief telling you with love. Without fire, there is no max out. Without fire, there is no diamonds and blue diamonds. Without fire, we will not conquer the world. Without fire, we will not be number one in the world. Are you guys with me or not? Light the fire. And this applies equally, Vijayar, to your corporate team, to your entities, to the companies. It applies equally to everyone and anything, guys. So light the fire. Are you guys with me? Right? I, whenever I travel anywhere, you know, Suresh, who works for me, he always say, Chief, when you land, I suddenly feel more excited. Everyone feels more excited. I am not a freaking genius. I don't come there and give always the right answer or the right solution. I just land and I light the fire. So this week, whether you realize it or not, right, the fire in your organizations are not strong enough. It is not hot enough. So this week, right, consciously, okay, whatever you're doing this week, everything you're doing this week, raise the temperature, all right, walk faster, go crazier, speak louder, be more passionate, all right, go crazier, guys, just raise everything this week, all right, and just switch on that bloody fire to full force, so the water starts to boil, and that water boiling is new markets being opening up, BVs coming in, all right? People's checks going up, people moving rank, all right? Max out kings and queens are being created. That's ultimately what the fire is about. Are you guys with me? So yesterday watching Dato Sri Vijay, I realized that just listening to him energized me. I went home, I reached home at 2.45 in the morning and I couldn't freaking sleep, all right? Until like 6.30, 6, 6.15. I was just too switched on. He wasn't talking to me. He was talking to the 50 corporate warriors in the room. But hearing him, watching his body language, watching his genius at work, that energy just became so freaking contagious. It overwhelmed me. Are you guys with me? And that's what we need to learn from the great one, Dato Sri Vijay. That your energy, your passion, your mindset, your warriorship, right? your craziness will decide the size and success of your network. So it's you. You. I'm looking at you. Are you passionate enough? Are you crazy enough? Is your fire strong enough to take a network from zero to one of the greatest organizations under the V umbrella? You ask yourself this question. So to all of you all over the world, this week, Week 19, make it about fire. Make it about passion. Raise the bar higher, 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 higher than you ever raised before, guys. All right, so this is your chief saying, I love you. All right, please pay my love and respect to your parents. Hug your kids and say, Uncle Cheese loves them. Tell your whole team, wake up, smell the coffee, because week 19, we are going to set it on fire, guys. Love you guys.